everybody. Welcome to a new episode of the World Record Podcast. This is your man, the B-Man, coming at you live from the Burbank Studios, high atop the Hollywood Mountain. Hello. High atop the Hollywood Mountain. We're in the, we're on a mountain. We're in a mountain. Can you introduce our guest? Not yet. No, it's a oh. surprise. We have a surprise guest. Nobody knows who it is, and we're going to keep it. We're going to just... Guess, but we'll you take, know what? We'll make a few calls and see if they can guess who it is. But people probably know who it is because it's usually written in the description of the video. Uh, I'm, not so gonna gonna I'm not gonna write it in this time. I'm not gonna write it in this time. I'm not gonna write it in this time. Mystery guest. Don't, that, that's a hint. There's like these apps that help you fall asleep, like you listen to someone talking and, and then it'll help you fall asleep. Have you I, seen those? I have a nice one. Yeah, you should wow. do that. You should be there's like, one with Optimus Prime too. or whatever, and then you just fall asleep. Optimus Prime? Yeah, the, the Transformer. Or ER. Like that. Okay, here, we'll call someone and see if they can guess who our guest is. Uh, no one's ever complimented my whisper before. Have you well, heard any nice. of that whisper maybe, rapping maybe, that people maybe. are doing? Whisper rapping. Yeah. That's old. That's old. That's a, hey, little mama. No, the new me. guys. The oh. <laughs> you never heard that song? No. We'll play I, it. But I heard people say. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the. <laughs> <laughs> Is that whispering, though? I don't know. It's a whisper sound. It's like shish rapping. Can we call someone and have them judge our whispers, maybe? Yeah. Okay, who has the best whisper? Thank you for calling. Tell me how I'm Oh, hey, how's it going? Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? <laughs> no, it's, I have to whisper. I'm here with my grown son and his Hi. husband. Hi. I'm his son. And I'm his husband. How can I help? Well, we were looking for a mattress to go to sleep on. Okay. Shh. Quiet. The dog's sleeping. We don't want to wake up our dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I like what sometimes people are fast. I, li yeah. I like I the mean, fast it's extra, extra. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest today is Shane Moss. Woo! Shane Moss. You may know him from his podcast mind under matter or the uh shane moss experience what's your other one <laughs> here, here we here are here we are here we are my science podcast uh, his science podcast and then uh you may also know him from uh this show conan o'brien this show yeah. calling uh, bridal shops acting like my wife <laughs> Those are some of the first episodes. That was that I was I was just telling I've told many people about that specific yeah. prank. It's a very good one. So funny. You could try it again. Yeah, we'll we'll again. definitely have to do it again. We could do it with you two, where you're the husband, a lot and of different... she's the wife, and Shane's the wife. <laughs> <laughs> you think I sound like a boy though? Well, it's like any woman. Well, most not not any woman. Some women are definite, like you know. You could tell it's a woman, but a lot of women, it's like, are you? Because that's something I used to do on the Bone Zone, where I'd say, "Is this a woman or a ten-year-old boy?" Because it's the voices are interchangeable. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> and, and I think it's good to have. I mean, just having like a woman doing prank calls is nobody. No women are doing that. I don't well, think any women you. make prank phone calls. No, uh, women no, they have make more th better things. To I do mean, with their throughout time, I like, I mean, there's like jerky <laughs> boys. I mean, has there ever been like? you know, a crew of girls putting out crank call albums or any kind of I, prank I stuff. Don't, how is it possible? The that women is, have just like never sat around and been like, should we make a prank phone call right now? <laughs> it's never occurred to, I mean, I, I don't think that that is necessarily says great things about guys either. That like, exactly. we're, the, we're the ones that keep on thinking up to- Breaking like, people. <laughs> call people and make a fart noise into the phone. <laughs> who, else, who else would be doing the prank calls if guys weren't around? Well, I'm not, I'm not like saying it as like a uh, detriment, no. like, no, you know, I like know. women aren't funny, but, but it, I mean- just, <laughs> I, I, It is a very, I don't know. I I think I did it a little bit in high school, but it's like, yeah, I guess I just didn't really see the point in it. I'm not I mean, saying women aren't funny. Yeah, you are, though. <laughs> Norm MacDonald had a great bit where he's like, oh, yeah, you know, when you're at school and uh, somebody asked him about, like, the women aren't funny thing. Yeah. He's like, so you know, what do you think about that? People saying women aren't funny. He's like, no, no, I don't believe that. He's like, remember, like, when you're in the schoolyard and there's a group of bun bunch of people gathered around someone and they're just cracking up? Laughing her asses off every time as a chick in the middle. Of it. <laughs> <gasps> so mean. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying women aren't funny, but it is. The, it kind of goes along with the uh, 
sensibility of like because that is true. It's, it's like juvenile. women haven't. It's, it is so like like that's uh, prank phone calls is the most juvenile. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is that you can. Women are do, just like so I don't want to do. I just have. But there has to be to what's do. what's something that's like very juvenile that females do that that would be like the lie all the, the time the opposite <laughs> the lie. yeah lie all the time is prank phone yeah, calling you know not I mean? lying and pranking is that not lying but you it's not funny lying? though it's lying i don't know with... i wonder what that's a good question i don't know yeah, what do women do be a show of just like ladies just lying in a funny way <laughs> yeah. yeah well someone had someone oh, had they a, did have that, that remember prank show chelsea handler and uh there was like it was girls what was that prank show? It was used to be on like late at night. There's this woman on the BBC that does this like fake history show. It's oh, oh like yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. I started I watching it. I just watched a little bit. Is it funny? For the first, I thought it was amazing. Like I, I, haven't I thought seen it, it was yet. very. That's very what funny. I heard. I, I think I have an aversion to English things sometimes. Yeah, like I get that. Because somebody was like, oh, you got to watch this. Yeah, she has a weird name. And I was like, yeah. oh, like one night I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch something. I turned it on. <laughs> and in the first few minutes, I was like, I don't think I'm in the mood for this right now. I, I thought, I think she was. Uh, it was, it was conk or something. Conk, yeah, yeah. Conk. Yeah. I, I thought it was, I thought it was really clever juvenile humor. Yeah, that's great. Oh, then maybe oh. we'd like it actually. Yeah. We were we were a little turned off. Do you have you seen that show I think you should leave with Tim Robinson? No. Oh, it's oh great. my gosh. It's well, the that best was a show. Sketch show that's been done in the past. Yeah. Oh, I've seen I've seen some You've uh, probably some, seen clips. Some clips from it. on Instagram. Yeah. It's, it's funny. so funny, but when it came out everyone was like, this is the funniest show and I remember me and Brendan were like, it can't be that. Funny. Well, you know how, and then like, we watch it. And we're like, oh, yeah, it's like just as funny as everybody says. It's it tough is, so. in this town because people are just kind of like not paid to, you know, everybody's just such an ass kisser. Oh, yeah. And like they know somebody who worked on it and they get like private messages like, hey, this show's coming out. Can you please tweet about it? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so when you see like a bombardment of the usual suspects who love you're everything, like, you're like, you're I like, don't okay, know. Okay, I'm sure this is great. Yeah. But and then, then we it watched it, and is. we were like, oh, my God. Like, like from the, favorite show. the first sketch, you're like, oh, this is this is great. This yeah. is just funny. I mean, well, you got, it, it's you have to understand that you have such, like, kind of a, a privileged, objective view from high atop Hollywood Mountain. Yeah. Hollywood that Mountain. a lot of people, a lot of people are, like, down in the valley. I wish know? I was down in, in the valley. We're atop Hollywood in the, in Mountain. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I wish, I, I don't know if you're being facetious, but it's like. <laughs> Hollywood well, Mountain. Well, but it is like, it does get really hard to enjoy it, comedy. Was, it does. That, am I remembering High, that, high atop uh, Holly, uh, Hollywood Mountain. Mountain. A mountain. Yeah, that's where we record the podcast. Uh, yeah. Mountain in. Mountain in. Uh, the view is amazing up here. It is good. Yeah, right next to the a, Hollywood sign. Oh, look out. A bird's going to fly into your hair, Shane. <laughs> now, Shane has really long hair now. And uh, have you? are you afraid of bats flying into your hair? Because that's yeah. Or a bird saying? making a nest <laughs> in your beard. Ba bats are something like one-fifth of the mammalian species on Earth. So are they? It's, it's surprising that they're not flying into all of our hair. So. <laughs> I, that is a new fear of mine. We Thanks could call. Me. Let's call a barber shop or a beauty <laughs> salon and see if they could get a bat out of your hair. A bat. <laughs> I have this. I hadn't been. Yeah, I think. I, I. I think that's a solid idea because I have some hair. Did you? Uh, how was it? Do I have this new assistant that helped book you? How was she? Oh, just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Melissa Brunch. I, <laughs> oh, no, wait, barge. I, I, <laughs> Brunch is a good one, though. Yeah. I was, do you use a different name each time to try? No, I, but did you? You believed ones? it at first, though, when I called you Sean, or no? Uh, I uh, know. You didn't I, believe it at all, ever? No, I think I didn't. No, oh. I wouldn't believe anything that you said. Because <laughs> then, then, then she kept calling you Shannon. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see uh, that. Like, I didn't even pay attention. That sucks. Like, all this energy Brennan puts into his bits and nobody so, even pays attention. I'm so sorry. I should have LOL or something. No, no. I was, like, I was feeling bad because I was like, oh, I'm tricking this poor guy. He thinks he's talking no. to Michelle, Michelle Brunch. I, was, I think I was, like, busy and rolling. My eyes, because <laughs> you just waste people's time, Brendan. <laughs> Not really. I mean, it wasn't a waste of time. Yeah, we were really booking quick, the show. Was, that's true. It that's was true. What needed to happen. That's I true. speaking. This is. I was at a party recently, <laughs> and uh, Johnny Ryan, our comic book friend, has a Patreon, which is really good. If you don't subscribe to Johnny's Patreon, he draws a page a day, 
and puts, you know, makes a comic book on there. He's currently working on Who Raped My Horse. Yeah, yeah. The name of <laughs> Who his Raped comic. My Horse is the new comic. <laughs> and uh, he's up to like page 30, maybe, or 40. And then the one before that was Maniac Army. And then the one before that is Fuck My Son. That's and, scary. Uh, that yeah. one's scary. I'm not going to lie. So they're good. Um, but I, so like I'll comment on his Patreon on when he, whenever he posts something, I'll comment like, you know, this is bullshit. I'm canceling my Patreon or whatever. Just like crazy yeah. stuff. And there was this one guy who was like, hey, I know you're trying to be funny or whatever, but it's just kind of a bummer to see like negative comments. And, and I, so then I was like, it's not me. I was like, I share my password with like 10 people. Uh, yeah. So now like I will comment and I say, everybody <laughs> use their initials. Basically, I get in fights with myself in his comments now with like, hey, knock it off. Signed BG. <laughs> no, was, there's a guy named Jeffrey Epstein, but he spells his name Je with a G with a G. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy like unleashed Joffrey. a whole thing. Yeah. Now you're just terrorizing us all. But the thing is, I think it's like just, you know, I know Johnny's seeing it and he's getting a kick out of it. And maybe this guy is getting pissed off by it. But I was at a party at that at Doug's party. Yeah. And this girl's like, oh, wait, are you Brendan Walsh? She's like, I love your Patreon. I love what you do on Johnny Ryan's podcast. <laughs> that's, that's how you, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't that be amazing? That's how you, like, get your big break? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, She's like, I own I own Sony Pictures. Yeah. And we want to make a movie. looking for a TV show where people <laughs> make comment. weird comments on people's Patreon. Because it's a celebration of generosity, but also not taking itself too seriously. And, mm -hmm. and and it, it, there's a lot of social commentary yeah. there. It's really, I, I, think, should, I think it's going to break the world apart. It should be a show. I also come, we have a ring camera. You know, one of those ring doorbells uh, yeah. with the camera on it? Yeah, yeah. And uh, when you buy one of those, it automatically signs you up for, you're part of this ring community that's mm -hmm. like the Nextdoor app. And I'm kicked off of the Nextdoor app. Um, but I am part of this ring community. <laughs> Wait a second. Can we, I, you really went past that pretty quickly. Have you talked the about it a lot? Talked about so, or something? Or? It's so, well, we could say what? it briefly because it's so funny. Like a few years ago, it was in LA. It There's was super wave. hot, like 110 <laughs> degrees. And we have this huge tree in our backyard and all the leaves fell off the tree. All the, the leaves tree. fell off like all the, all trees, the trees in the neighborhood and it Brendan, was so hot. <laughs> And Brendan was posting on next door. He was taking pictures of the leaves like, hey, I think someone's going around poisoning all the trees because all the leaves are <laughs> falling off. And people were getting so mad, like, no, it's the heat, like, blah, blah, blah. And he's yeah. like, no, if look for a guy. He's like, we should all keep our eyes peeled for a guy with, with like, a hoodie on. And, and they're like, well, you've never seen anybody do it. So, like, what do you mean? Like, why are you saying, like, look for people? It was just, it just turned well, the into a huge was, thing. I was getting was people so, so wound up because then one time at night, it was nighttime and I took a picture of leaves on the ground but it was so dark you, could, you couldn't even see anything i was like look you could see all these leaves like i'm not making this up and they're like we know <laughs> they're like and we know like, there are leaves on the ground but it's from the heat nobody's poisoning the trees and uh yeah and then my argument oh, was like so from the sun so you're saying last time i checked the sun makes trees grow so Do you're th no, so they don't like have an idea of where you live. They just they know do. That you're... They know that you're in the neighborhood. Yeah, because like you, you our have neighborhood. To, yeah, okay. you, it's only limited to a certain area. I get like you put your zip code in, and it's like okay, these are your. This is the boundaries of who you're communicating to. So then I went to sign in like a day later, and it's just like you're not allowed in here. But anymore. then what was fun too is like <laughs> I there. Mean, that's, that's, why are you, I, I don't know. It was so. Like, well, the why? thing is, it's because that is, it was that so is hilarious funny. that like. You have to live there. <laughs> yeah. Well, luckily, well, but nobody no, yeah, knows who not, it is. Well, they don't know that it's him. Too. Yeah, oh, it was my okay. account, actually, well, and I got kicked good, off. But, uh, okay. <laughs> well, the thing is that they, it's, uh, <laughs> But everybody I, on that app it's is like, a, it's like it's a psycho. the house next door to you or something. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 go a few miles away here, right? and, then, and then egg some houses. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how, I don't know. It's just like the enjoyment that I get from like, I guess it's trolling, but yeah. I don't it think it's It is trolling. Like, but it's just so funny. But that app is full of people who are legitimately insane. Then, like the they, stuff they're posting about <clears throat> is crazier than me just saying i think teenagers are poisoning all the trees yeah <laughs> but then there was a girl on twitter who lived in the neighborhood who's like a comedian girl remember yeah what i don't I remember what, what her twitter did, handle is she was tweeting about the next door app stuff like i can't believe this guy blah 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 so that was oh, fun to funny. see in twitter like oh, in yeah. a different world too where see it's like it this is really out. affecting people yeah <laughs> it was really funny <laughs>
Well, I'm part. Well, speaking of so not to, okay, but now not listen to, to his ring. So much. Well, wait. This, oh. I, but talking about TP in your neighbor's house. One time, I drove me and my friend Chris drove my. I had a '61 Plymouth Valiant, and I drove it from Austin to San Francisco. Or I, yeah, no, I drove it from Austin to Philadelphia. I got it in San Francisco. Drove it down. My uncle gave it to me. It had a CB radio in it, with a big antenna on the roof. And when we were driving to Philly, it was like the winter. Uh, we're like, let's mess with truckers. Because <laughs> I didn't know how CB radios worked. I didn't oh know God. we were just talking to the guys right next to them. <laughs> you have an enormous <laughs> sign on the top of your Yeah, vehicle. yeah. So, like, that's what happened was, like, we were like, okay, all you stupid truckers. We're going to count to. So we're going to do something you've never done. Count to 200. One, two. And it, like, legitimately count to 200 on there. And then you hear these guys, like, I think it's them two agates. In the white, <laughs> like after doing it for a while, and we were like, "Oh shit, wait, oh shit, it's these guys are like they're gonna run us off the road." See, right? So there. stupid. I mean, I just thought it like went out to every trucker. So in I the, don't in even the know. country, it's yeah. Amazing. I never, you yeah, it's so like stupid. AM right? And, you I don't never, even and, know, I, and listen, you, I grew up in the city. You didn't even learn your lesson even back then. It. Wow. No. Never learned your lesson. But now on this Ring app, they can't kick you off of it because I never signed up for it. It's just they just sign you up when you buy a doorbell. So uh, what do you? The, it's like the next door app, the Ring app. So people post things, and somebody posted oh. like recently. Like people will post like, there's a helicopter. Like what's that? Or or pick you know videos of like people stealing boxes. Like look out, there's someone stealing boxes or whatever. So it's like a um, yeah, they'll a post community like videos or pictures. Thing, from but there. Brendan. <laughs> This one made oh, me look, laugh here, recently. Wait, yeah. Hold on. I mean, I have like hundreds of these. So somebody. Oh. Where is it? You should save them like on your I Instagram. Do. Oh. Like put them in your. I, I do a lot something. of like a porno things. Wait, where is the? It always turns. It's always like a porno. <laughs> Let me find oh, the on. one that made me laugh. You guys talk. I'll okay. Find it. What what talk about? I, don't know. I, I used to so this is this is uh very embarrassing here it is hold on and then <laughs> okay. i want to hear that yeah Wait. okay so okay. this is this is one this is kind of this isn't usually my style i usually write like big long stories but somebody posted power on and off power on my block has been going on and off for the past two-ish hours now i think it's happened three or four times right now is the longest it's been off for about 20 minutes so far I said, this is such a cool story. Are you a writer? You should put this into script form and pitch it to the Who Gives a Shit Network. <laughs> wow. Wow. I know. I know. He's so mean. <laughs> They're not usually like Usually that. he's They're like, not. usually, <laughs> okay, this is usually he'd I'm say not. something like this. He'd say, the power is going off because they're filming a porno yeah, down around the corner. It relates to like a porno Yeah, 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 yeah right. <laughs> I, that, that makes more sense. That's more in line with the Brennan that I know. But that was just, I think. Wow, what a cool a story. Gro- <laughs> think, well, because was, he, he wasn't even saying that? like, it's is like, this happening to anyone yeah, else? Yeah, it's just, just like my like power's going out. in his diary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Brendan. Hold on. Yeah, I know. It's not going to end well for me. Hold on. <laughs> I know. I wonder what your I, karm, like your karmic, you know, like what that's going to be for you. Um, well, good news is it's probably not a thing. Here's one. <laughs> it's, this time it's a bobcat. The big cats love us. So I guess a bobcat's walking in the lady's backyard. Then I said, I'm not proud to admit this, but I made love to a bobcat once. <laughs> I was living in New Mexico. I was kind of in a cult, and the cult leader ordered me to make love to a bobcat he captured. That's funny. It was sedated, declawed, like. and strapped to a massage table. <laughs> strapped to a massage table. It didn't want it to happen. Massage was a big, well, it was sedated. Wow. It. Massage was a big part of the cult. I did a bunch of positions with the big cat while about a dozen members watched and <laughs> shot at different positions to do. Shout I shot at different positions. <laughs> man, you're really painting a picture. I know. It's so I, descriptive. Well, wait, so I descriptive. shot pretty far and it felt pretty good. <laughs> pretty but I got to say, at the end of the day, good. I felt kind of bad for the bobcat. <laughs> Does anybody reply to you or say anything pretty to you? I don't check in a bunch. <laughs> What do you mean you don't check in up? Like it seems like you do check in. It seems I don't. Like I don't really check to see if people oh, are. Oh, uh, Yeah. You don't. You if don't. People care are faving it. Yeah. <laughs> coyote walking along Finley Street, Hillhurst. I saw a coyote walking along Finley Street near Los Feliz. Apparently, coyotes are scared of humans. Blah blah blah. 
If you see a coyote, you're supposed to haze it, act, holler, blow a whistle, blah, blah, blah. They're more dangerous if they're injured. And then I replied, just paint a tunnel on the side of a mountain and he'll try to run into it and bust his head. <laughs> uh, that I enjoy. I also, I, I really liked the bobcat assault for the first little bit, and then I started picturing it. Yeah, it was it was really poetic the way that you wrote. It was impressive. There's one. About there's maybe one. maybe that could be a genre of. Maybe you could publish. I should put these into a book. I have a bunch. They took my Yelp account away, too, for the same kind of shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> your Yelp one was pretty fun, though, because it was always, like, about your mistress. That's right. All, a lot of my reviews involved me cheating on my wife. And you're like, <laughs> so <laughs> what? I cheat on my wife. Who yeah, cares? Everybody whole, does it. whole speech about judgment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you if you're thinking about judging me, don't, because a lot of people do it and blah, blah, blah. Here's a guy. Here's one. Urinating on private property. This guy just walked up our driveway to pee. Keep a lookout for the phantom pisser. <laughs> I said, please, please post more videos like this. I love piss. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's one with a lady. I love... <sighs> well, so we'll bad. stop. We'll... What were you going to say? Yeah. What was your embarrassing story? I used to blow up mailboxes. Oh, yeah. What? Shane's a rural kid. Yeah. But what is, but so how do you do that? We get a two liter bottle, fill it with balls of aluminum foil, tightly packed. You put in some uh, specific toilet bowl cleaner. Okay. And uh, it just starts like a science project, but you have the cap on, so eventually it will just explode. And uh, it, it'll send a mailbox. It, it, it'll... I mean, that sounds like fun. I guess I guess when you say blow up a mailbox, I'm thinking you made like a homemade bomb or something and put yeah, it in I someone's. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that is a homemade bomb. <laughs> I mean, not bomb. one that's gonna like a start a fire. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. Uh, yeah, it's not like <laughs> fire. It's not a fire starter. That's what I thought. That's what I pictured. It was my favorite thing that I ever did. It was your favorite? It, no, no. I, I mean, it was at the time. It was <laughs> yeah. certainly my favorite thing. I was <laughs> way into it. It's not my favorite thing to reflect on. Yeah. Later in. Yeah. Well, you're a kid. Yeah. He was in his 20s, probably. <laughs> Here's one. When my mom was coming, we sent a car to pick my mom up from the airport. And I texted her from a, a disguised number. <laughs> and it says, hello there, Miss Janet. I'm going to be your driver today. My name Devong. I may perhaps be a little bit late because I have to conduct some personal business before I get you, but I will be there when, you had co when that had concluded. Text me if you got any question. And she didn't know that was you. She didn't know it was me. And then, <laughs> wait, where's the fucking... Pricking his mom, even. I mean, were you says, ever serious? Have you ever been serious in she your says, life? She says, okay. I said, you land already? <laughs> she said, yes. And I said, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You're terrible. When did that start? Like, do you, is that just, you remember always, like, messing with people like that your whole life? Like I don't know. Well, not, I don't want to make this unserious. about. We have Shane here. Sorry. Um, <laughs> well, I just it's cute. It's interesting. Like, yeah. What's I don't know. I do remember story? one time laughing so hard I had, and I know I've told this story on on at least other podcasts before. Uh, my friend Robert <laughs> was his name. Uh, I haven't talked to him in a long time, but uh, we were in like the sixth or seventh grade, and I had a. Uh, I had like a sore throat, so I had like a Hall's mentholiptus in my mouth. And he was like sat next to me or whatever. He's like, hey, can I have one of those? And I was like, yeah. And I gave it to him and I said, but you have to give the wrapper to the teacher so she knows it's not candy or else you get two demerits. <laughs> and he's like, really? I'm like, like he didn't believe me. And I was like, okay, but you're gonna get, you're gonna get two demerits. That's the way, like if you don't give it to her, she made this rule and he's like, okay. And he goes up with this <laughs> Hall's wrapper to the teacher and she's just sitting at her desk like, writing or whatever and he just walks up next to her he goes here and she just like looks at it she's like what, you, what do you want me to, what do you want me to do with that and he's just like here i don't know he's like, yeah. and i was like i just remember i was laughing so hard i couldn't breathe because <laughs> then he saw me it was just like ah oh, and he like threw it away but it's just like You're the terrible. whole creating just this ball of confusion between two people <laughs> like she that's doesn't... wonderful yeah. Is what it... a nice origin story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is a, it is a good origin story. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I get a kick out of it. I always it's like funny. hidden camera stuff, you know, like what was that called? Candid camera? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. 
But Shane's here. He's doing a new show at Meow Wolf. No, this is behind Patreon now, so. No, it's not. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> yeah, Area 15 in Vegas. It's uh, the, um, it, they partner with Meow Wolf. Um, and it's an immersive psychedelic comedy show called The Better Trip that starts Sundays, April 23rd. So if you're in Vegas, check that out. It's a fun solo show. One time I did a drug and it was like, whoa. <laughs> you just go through the list of every drug. So LSD is crazy. Oh my God. Now is heroin, is, is heroin classified as a psychedelic? It's funny because they actually, they're, the term psychedelic, there's all sorts of disagreement. Yeah. No one knows what it means. Like, yeah. why, why is MDMA considered a psychedelic by some? And yeah. some people think it's just, you know, getting it because MDMA is, is uh, just kind of easier to get through for the FDA purposes and stuff that they'll be able mm. to, if they get that through, then they'll be able to be like, what about other psychedelics? Yeah. And I don't know, it's all uh, psychoactive substances, like what makes a psychedelic, which is, I think the, the words Latin for mind manifesting or uh -huh. whatever. And like, why isn't, why isn't heroin mind manifest? Like, what, what does yeah. that even mean? No one knows what that means. They're trying to get MDMA approved. It's, it's been, it started as like a marital aid, didn't it? It was yeah, legal it was when a, it started. It was a relationship, yeah, yeah. it's a relationship counseling um, aid. And like, wow. really, really effective. And yeah, you can understand yeah. why. Like, yeah. I, I didn't, I never liked MDMA, just like at parties or whatever. And then I was in a long term relationship and had MDMA with a, with a lady once and I was like, oh, this is what, you know, you can actually like express all of the things that have been bothering you and this like patient way and all and understanding and all this stuff. It's a good way to start a fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't, uh, MDMA, it, it uh, inhibits the amygdala, which is like the fight or flight response. Yeah. So you don't have those same like fears and anxieties and, and. Well, yeah, uh, you're very like. You can't get angry. Nice I can't imagine. Be, like, I mean, I'll be at a show on MDMA, and it's just like people could be like pushing and show, like things that generally would like you yeah. know really trigger me. It's just like, yeah, go ahead, man, yeah. walk on my feet. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, so you're all nice to everybody. They're just about to publish in the uh, American Journal. Uh, I forget. One of the one of the big scientific journals is about to publish the phase three, the final studies for MDMA, uh, which show that it works very well for PTSD, and that's going to be announced this summer. They're getting it all ready, and there's there's a psychedelic science conference in Denver. That's the, going to be the biggest one in the world. I'll be there, oh, and nice. the, that that's like a big part of their announcement. Like, hey, we finished this study, and now the FDA is very likely going to approve they've and then already you can, been fast tracked and they, then you can get it like prescribed to you that's well, the idea it will be approved for um mdma assisted psychotherapy so okay. you can go into a clinic and have these you you go in you I, I think it's like 10 therapy sessions and three of them you take mdma and so in the in the studies like People even that don't get the MDMA benefit because they're going to therapy, um, but the, the people the that also get but the But it's MDMA a small are. dose. I mean, is it is it like like no, when you go to it? But so it's like I've had bad experiences with MDMA where I, th I feel like I get very overwhelmed and it kind of has the opposite effect. Yeah, does that I don't happen understand to people? With like when you get when you take MDMA with so, like you know you buy it from someone, you get the every, this, this is the same amount in every pill that you're buying from a person. Mm -hmm. So like, 
I take one at my current weight of 473 pounds. Yeah. And Amanda That's, takes you've one. You've lost in, some weight. I uh, take yeah, mine at 115 Craig. pounds. 110 pounds, <laughs> less, uh, younger than 23, and no mm -hmm. more than 110 pounds, like yeah. every woman should be. <laughs> yeah, I'm only 22. Um, but, like, that's what I've, you know, because I actually did it recently. I went to a show with a female friend of mine, and I'm like, oh, I wonder, you know, because I'm, we're both taking the same thing. Yeah. So how do they, like, does it count, does it matter what your weight is? Uh, I, I think generally, so in the studies, I think they do 125 is it milligrams. Probably. I want to say. And then, and so, so they also, they used to start by, uh, they would give people half doses as well so there'd be the placebo group there'd be the full mm. i think 125 and then they gave uh, 0.75 and um or or 75 yeah. milligrams whatever and they cut the 75 from the study because people actually were worse off so there's something there's right. something with some substances where if you do half you Maybe only that's get I, like the anxiety well it's like mushrooms like if you don't take I enough mushrooms you're just kind of stuck in that ramping you're just up stuck phase. there yeah. and everyone thinks that they're they're like playing it safe right. by doing a half dose because yeah. alcohol works that way. Like, yeah. hey, I'm going to take it easy tonight. I'm having one, maybe been my two problem drinks. Then. Yeah. Whereas, whereas, you know, there's no, like, breakthrough experience no, with alcohol. No, it's just the, <laughs> just yeah, the yeah, blackout yeah. experience. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I took, like, the... I think I took half... I didn't take a full pill. Oh, maybe I that's didn't, what it was. But, but I don't know, because I took it once in Vegas, and then I took it again the night after, and then I was like depressed for like two weeks oh, well, that's yeah. what and I was then after ask. i took it I, I took it again and we went to see Stephen merritt from the saw the magnetic field magnetic fields and it was like in the masonic lodge at the hollywood cemetery and it was like low and red and he has this deep voice and i was just like ugh, like it really kind of it made me feel bad yeah him. and then now i just don't want to do it because it was just i've had like three bad experiences on it yeah which i sucks. mean i don't think you need to keep trying yeah i don't think i will because then you're just stuck in it but when i when it was good i mean it's so fun and uh, yeah every set and setting is important but then yeah. also the the in terms of the hang doing it two nights in a row is usually a bad awful. idea <laughs> they do, I, I think in a clinical setting i think they'll do they'll do 125 for the first dose and then as you're coming down they will offer a booster of like another 75 to extend it in yeah. some of the settings and that seems to help but two days in a row seems to just deplete it was what bad. Is they, it so was bad. how do they co combat the come down like in a clinical setting because a lot of people have that like big depressing i don't really or I like clench my jaw. Much. I clench my jaw some, real bad. Some people well, I'm talking the next day. A lot of people are. Oh, saying, oh sorry, like, sorry, right. There's a supplement that you can get in any store called Five HTP. Yeah, yeah, I'll that, take that. The, I don't. The, the people. Yeah. I mean, that's the 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 problem. The problem with the regulatory system is it makes these things very difficult to study, which means almost all of the studies on psychedelics are in. You know, I, I talk with scientists about a variety of things yeah. uh, on a weekly basis, and I, I would say that the studies regarding psychedelics are iffy, you know, just yeah. because there hasn't been enough done yeah. with it. Yeah. Usually they're sensationalized. Like, a lot yeah. of times I hear things, I'm like, that doesn't... That sounds cool, yeah. but I it's don't like, think that's actually science. <laughs> like, yeah. Doctor, like, Doctor Hacky Sacks. It, it, it just doesn't sound the same way as like you know. I just had an episode about dung beetles, and yeah. I can talk to someone that researches dung beetles. And I'm like, well, this sounds different. Yeah, like the way science is done than yeah. when someone's talking about like DMT and like, yeah. do you know it's in every living thing? Yeah, yeah. And then the pineal gland, and it's what makes you dream. I'm like, that's a person's idea like yeah. one person's idea that's been popularized i'm not saying it's not true just like hasn't been studied right and, yeah. and there's like there's just a lot of stuff out so i i don't know i i think that uh i think like the 5 htp thing i think even if you're getting a little placebo effect out of it there's no harm in i try to take it anyway like it does it i'm a big supplement sucker mm -hmm. um just because, yeah, I figure, like, I don't know, maybe it can be bad. I, I Like, I don't do to overdo it with tons of, like, wacky stuff, but, like, you know, like magnesium and zinc and, you know, stuff that, like, you know, you kind of need. But, like, 5-HTP I'll throw in there. And yeah. 5-HTP is, is, like, that's 
And that's that's what people that use MDMA regularly usually go to. Yeah. And and uh, I bet I would I would bet money on studies bearing out that that for a good number of people it would be helpful. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I don't really have a huge come down from it. Yeah. Um, no, you don't. That's a lot of you people. really don't. Yeah. Especially if I don't drink alcohol when I'm on it, then there's I'm really kind of fine the next day. And if you're getting actual MDMA that makes a difference too yeah, yeah. compared to whatever else yeah. they're putting in there. I think and I've been lucky with having a very clean source. The other thing is is MDA is like theoretically much better or yeah. it, it, I like MDMA much better. A lot of people seem to like MDMA much better. So you're talking about the jaws being clenched. Mm. That's the second M is the amphetamine aspect. And uh, so without that it's less speedy and more uh, psychedelic. So wait, are you saying that, MDA you like fun. better? I do. Okay. It's less speedy, more psychedelic. Yeah. Oh in, well. In my opinion. And so here's like the dirty little secret is they don't they aren't studying MDA, uh, MDA because oh. you would need to start all over. They've right. made like decades of pro uh, oh. progress. It's like uh, this close to getting approved by right. the uh, by the FDA. Yeah. And so they would have to just scrap everything yeah. and start over. And so there's a little bit of like a hey wink wink just so, just so you know MDA is actually probably better. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So there's a little insider knowledge. Oh maybe. But I'd that's better. that's just all of the uh, again and that that's just the the way the scheduling system is is is. Uh, with psychedelics being a schedule one, it doesn't do anything to deter. No one's like, what schedule is this drug I'm going to yeah, pop yeah. in my mouth? It doesn't do anything to, like, you'll you'll get a bigger jail sentence. That's all for, it is, like, yeah. Cocaine's a schedule two, um, but oh. marijuana is a schedule one. So it, it, it doesn't it doesn't impact the jail sentence necessarily. Okay. It does it does give. It does give law enforcement and judges like wiggle room to like increase yeah. laws more if it's scheduled. But all that it actually does is it makes it so that scientists can barely study this stuff. It's just like it's nearly impossible to get uh, get those uh, strictly regulated controlled substances. So a lot oh, of the things with psychedelics is like we just we don't we don't know. Yeah. We'll never know. What about the ketamine stuff? That's uh... I fucking love ketamine. Yeah, it's I'm a big, on quite a ketamine kick right now. Yeah, I, T it... that someone else is in this room and it's not me. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> I, I I think I so I never give advice to people, um, but because pe people will write me all the time yeah. on Instagram, being like all sorts of dumb questions. Yeah. I mean actually <laughs> a lot of a lot of good questions. The dumb questions are, where can I get DMT? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, let me give you my dealer's info <laughs> yeah. in Chicago over Instagram Right away, officer. <laughs> yeah. Stranger. And then other ones are like, there's like mental health issues stuff. I'm like, I don't know you. Yeah. I can't. But ketamine, even though I, I think that mushrooms has, uh, personally, has is is going to in time show the most potential for things like depression and improving people's mental health not to mention creativity and some other things ketamine is just so easy it's only a schedule three and they well, is, is that bad then three uh, is is that the worst than no one? schedule one is the worst oh really two, and then two like cocaine amphetamines and stuff is actually that's so marijuana lower. is worse than marijuana according to the federal government is worse than cocaine and amphetamines and then below that is ketamine because ketamine was used for as a train still is used to sedate yeah. doctors love it doctors yeah. love giving it to kids or whatever because because putting people under uh, is like people's heart stop and things sometimes. Like it's very dangerous. It's the to best put... though. I had a colonoscopy. They and... put you under for a colonoscopy? Yeah. You're no. They yeah. did. They did. I, I, they did not. They did. You can do it was that. The best. Yeah. I love that. It was the best. It was like I, I that. Like count. Like, Kevin, like you know. Oh yeah, the propofol. Whatever, yeah, whatever. whatever they gave Michael Count Jackson. backwards from 10, and then you're Count backwards like, from ah. 10, and I'm, like, trying to fight. Like, I was so aware. I was like, I want to, like, soak this in while it's happening. It was, like, 3, like, 10, 9, uh, and then you're just, yeah. like, awake, so well-rested. Like, you know, just, like, two seconds went by. Yeah, it's generally there's nothing to worry about, but once in a while. Th yeah, there, yeah. There's, there's more problems with it than with ketamine. I had good health insurance, too, which I feel like they really kind of throw the kitchen sink at every 
like every yeah, bonus feature, like selling you a car. They're like, oh, you have WGA health insurance? Well, you need this gold standard uh, sedative, and you know you have to go to yeah. this the, the Beverly Hills Hospital. And well, because we, if you look at the itemized bill, you'll yeah. see like the anesthesiologist. It's not oh, like yeah. a bill that you get for like you got surgery. Yeah. It's like an itemized, yeah. and then here's what this person did. Here's what, and so like, yeah, they they throw in the anesthesiologist. Oh, and they fucking do them. when our kid got burned. Uh, you know, when she was a baby, Amanda yeah. burned her with one of her cigarettes. Oh, I did it. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> what did, had, did, it, did it work, uh, though? She doesn't like, do that shit anymore. Doesn't, she doesn't yeah. learn, the, learn the lesson? Yeah, doesn't she won't interrupt shit. me One when little I'm burn, talking. no more interrupting. But we went yeah. to, <laughs> where did, they made her go in an ambulance from, remember, because we drove... Oh no! Oh my God! It was you so took annoying. her to the hospital, we and then to they the took ER. her to the burn center. Yeah, and then they we were but waiting. But they made for her a few be hours. in an ambulance, yeah, and, and then an ambulance. we get the bill, and it was four thousand dollars. Yeah, to we're like, an what? Ambulance. We were like, we could have just driven there. Yeah. Like I don't whatever. Well, once you step into a hospital's doors, they, once like, you're yeah. there, that's you're fucked. You're yeah. just like you're not getting out of there without paying something. They're just like, yeah. well, the reason you got your receptionist fee and the emergency room fee, like even if you walk in and say, hey, I think my arm's broken. And they're like, okay, well, it's it's going to be probably twenty thousand dollars. You go, no, no, never mind. And you're like, no, you have to stay here now. Yeah. There's no getting away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, so so, say your kid um, gets a dislocated shoulder or something. That's yeah. the sort of thing they'll they'll use ketamine quick, reset the shoulder. Your kid's still awake. They just like disassociate oh, from wow. the experience. So you still like experience it, but you're not. You're not like there in the same way, and it's fast. It's like 45 minutes or so, they're back. It's a little drunk feeling for like an hour after that. And so doctors love, uh, have loved using this stuff for a very long time. And then what happened was, well, one, like kids say the darndest things <laughs> after like a ketamine trip. But two, people would come in and they'd be like, Doc, my depression went away after this surgery. Is that normal? And they'd be like, Usually, no. More Usually, people are more depressed after a surgery because yeah. your yeah. body's healing and stuff like yeah. that. But, like, ketamine in particular, compared to other things, people would report this, and they're like, we should study this. So in the early 2000s, oh. they're like, well, I wonder if ketamine actually just works for depression. And they started, and sure enough, it does. It's weird. It's different. No one yeah. knows exactly why. Like, mushrooms, it's like, I got all these insights, and I can yeah. see my way forward. And like, ketamine is just like this very confusing 45 minutes that you're like, what was, was I just in a simulation? <laughs> yeah. I don't even understand. Yeah. Yeah. And then for whatever reason, you're slightly more, but, but the reason why I recommend it to people is one, you can get it legally, the legal ketamine, tr like I could hook you guys up easily um, in most states. Um, okay. But, uh, and two, it's like super safe because of that. Yeah. And then, and then it's also the studies show that it works the best on people that have never had a psychedelic experience before. Oh. So when someone's like, hey, I've never done psychedelics, where should I start? I say, go ketamine. And yeah. then if that doesn't work, maybe try mushrooms, but now you're getting For into legal depression, stuff and everything mean. else, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that's ketamine. Ketamine's awesome. Ketamine's it's like, big yeah. right now. It's ketamine's confusion right that now. I'm addicted to, like somehow. It's Weird. the only addictive psychedelic, which is strange because mm. a schedule one, the main criteria is 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 addiction. That means right. it's exceptionally. That means like that's marijuana so and mushrooms and stuff more addictive than co cocaine. Than cocaine. And meth, that's so weird. Which is used in studies to study addiction because it's historically very yeah. addictive. So like it's used all the time in science labs. It's so strange. And then ketamine's the only addictive psychedelic, and it's a schedule three. It's, yeah. But it's it's like very loosely regulated by comparison. So it's all yeah. I've bizarre. never gotten hugely into it, but yeah, lately I've been uh, doing like a nasal spray and. Um, I developed like an allergy to ketamine. <laughs> like I yeah. did, I did well, enough that now I know I... someone else who got really into it. You know him too, and, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. like the, we're talking about the addictive thing, like. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever really voiced the opinion, but like, you know, maybe the last time I hung out with him was like, it was like he kind of, he's doing a lot of it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I guess, I don't know. Like, what's the downside? Like, is it a bad addiction to come off of? Like, or. 
No, there's uh, there's no withdrawal. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I mean, I think it's it can be bad for your liver and okay. like with a lot of things if you're mis mixing alcohol with it, which yeah, I yeah. do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> um, and and then it, part of it is it's just like it's so you know most psychedelics is like MDMA or whatever else. You're like, how is this gonna go? Or mushroom? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, there's there's just like zero mental barriers between if after the show you're like, let's do ketamine right now, I'll be like, ah. Okay, yeah. like I don't even need to think about it. I'll do yeah. that. So then you get off. It's of not going to ruin your like, night. Ah, oh, I'll just do that. That was fun. I'll just do that again. And then, yeah, and then you don't get hangovers or like anything. So it's more just uh, like, well, why wouldn't I keep doing this? <laughs> yeah. And it's because you'll blow your sinuses up. <laughs> well, it does. I mean, yeah, that's one oh, thing. Oh, because you yeah, snort the, it? Usually, yeah, if it's I, not in a nasal spray, it's I do started. intramuscular now because I can't. I I just I just did um, my first like nasal ketamine in a while, like five days ago. So you are you going to a clinic? Up, like ever since? Oh. Are you having it done at a clinic, or are you just doing it? Yourself? No, I get I get like from clinics. Yeah. I get like it, like you know through the dark web and yeah. stuff like that and various connections I've made. I get l liquid. Uh, ketamine that I do myself. Oh wow! Ooh. It's a mental barrier, but uh, I can see that. Once you get used to it, yeah, it's pretty. I it's, mean, some people it's have in to the, do it. It's in the muscle. I've never, I've never veined right, anything. Yeah, yeah. In your between you your toes go, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like being a diabetic. <laughs> I just actually found out I have bad news. I guess I'll make the announcement here. Um, I saw my doctor, <laughs> and he said that I'm, a, I'm diuretic. You're oh, you're a diuretic? Yeah. Wow. I'm pre-diuretic. Wow. Pre <laughs> yeah. But so what are you what are you going to do so what are what's the protocol to not go full diuretic? He said it's unavoidable. Wow. Well, I mean, he said I could stop eating Taco Bell, but that's unavoidable. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you can't you not this. stop. So uh, but are you going to like keep doing the show and <laughs> Diaper, I, I think. Like it. I do wear a diaper. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's so it call. doesn't. It's not hurting your life too much. <laughs> no, I just had to get different yeah, different diapers, really. Oh. Because <laughs> so. I used to wear piss and cum diapers. Uh, I mo mostly just cum diapers that I would wear to the strip club. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's they're they're <laughs> cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, like when once, you when you don't do the backside too, you yeah. sa you save on a lot of the cost. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. half the material. Yeah. Well, can't you just turn those diapers backwards? Use two. But then I guess you well, you can't. Did you ever try to now shit now without pissing? Two. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to piss when you shit. Yeah, you, there's no, there's it's it's a one way street up front, there but should, it's a two way street in the back. There should be uh, that could be a world record someone could set like <laughs> shitting without out. pissing. <laughs> yeah, the most number of times. <gasps> uh, yeah, you'd have to just have the. Uh, some guys with a stopwatch and clipboard watch you <laughs> shit. Monitor your your piss region. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash world record podcast. World